In this video I will show how to use the lightning analysis plugin for Revit that simulate daylight levels that can be used for certification for lead. And this means that it simulate the daylight at X nox, that means spring and fall, at 9 o'clock and at 3 o'clock on a clear sky condition. So the way it works, that is you apply material shown in other videos and then you have levels and on the levels you have in the project it will try to simulate on the, those levels and after it has simulated it comes with a schedule in this schedule you see all the rooms so it will calculate all the first of all square meters if it's included in the daylight simulation if there is automated shades and if it fulfill the threshold. The threshold is lux values between 300 and 3000 and that means if it's under there is too little light and if it's over 3000 then it's too much of light. So the first column here is about within. How much of the time is it within this threshold? Is it above or is it below? and if you run it several of times then you can actually deselect rooms you don't want to have simulated. The way it works you need to install the plugin for light analysis then you click on run analysis and in this window you actually see what kind of settings that is made for this simulation as I said it's the fall equinox 9 and 3 p.m. on the clear sky condition so I will press start analysis and then you just get this window that's telling you that it will run in the cloud and I can keep working and there will come a notification when the analysis is completed. If you open up the 360 homepage you will see your simulation uh, running and it simulates for each room as you can see in some of these uh, images and this kind of simulation takes a little bit longer than some of the other simulation where it's only for one time step without this average calculation that you saw in the schedule. Back in Revit when it have simulated you click on generate results and then there will open a window with a summary of the daylight analysis for lead and here we can see 7% of the area is below the threshold and 79% is over the threshold and 14% is below. So this kind of information is also in the schedules that I will show. And then it generates floor levels like this one for each of the levels you have in your project with a legend showing different uh, steps of light levels in lux or in foot candle if you use that metric. And the minimum and maximum value if you don't like the color legends or the selected colors, you can edit that by selecting the legend and click on edit style. In here you can create new ones, you can specify different stuff about the, the look of it and the colors and the values that is shown for each steps here. And last, there are some other settings about how it um, rounding up or about the text height and so on. But in this case, I just use the standard one. And last, the schedule, and there is two schedules, one schedule for the whole floor with an average of if it's within the threshold or above or below, and then more detailed for the different rooms as shown before.